Welcome everyone to the first workout of the Glowing Fit Workout Series, Total Body Strength. I'm here with my good friend Jess Baldwin. He's going to help us through this first workout. Jess, you ready to do this? Ready. We're not going to waste any more time. Starting with squat press. So what you're going to do is pick up those dumbbells. I'm going to use these little guys here to demo. <coughs> Weight is on your heels. Drop your hips back. Down. Squat up back down, back up, 45 seconds. I'm gonna be checking form, and here we go. So Jess has got a real good tight frame here. <clears throat> Jess, go ahead and turn to the side. So what we wanna see, we wanna see his knees not going past his toes, his chest is tall, nice tight core, inhaling on the way down, Exhaling on the way up. And this is a total body move. Going to get the heart pumping. It's going to get the metabolism going. About 10 seconds here, Jess. Keep pushing it. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job. Let's set those down. Putting the weights down for a minute. Sticking with the legs. It's going to be one of the common themes here. Lower body. Legs are basically the key to everything. We're going to do what's called a squat kick or a belt kick. So what you're going to do, Jess, hands at the waist. You're squatting down. Stand and kick with the right. Squat down. Stand and kick with the left. Ready to do it? And here we go. So if you want to modify this, you can add dumbbells to the side. But what I think you'll find with all these lower body moves not really going to be necessary. Jess, go ahead and turn to the side again so the folks at home can see what you're doing. Jess is typically an upper body guy. Some of these lower body moves, we might throw them off a little bit, but that's all right. It's good for them. Nice job, buddy. 15 seconds left. Get those legs high. In five, four, Three, two, one, and relax. All right, legs are going to get a break. We're doing push ups, which have been done since the dawn of time. A couple key things to remember with a push up keep your shoulder blades together throughout the movement. You don't want to be rounding that back. Your core is tight all the way down, all the way up. 45 seconds. Jess, you ready to do this? Ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. There we go. Oh, geez. Did not expect that. This guy is just firing him off. I told you he was an upper body guy, folks. As you can see, his core is tight. If that lower back starts to dip, he will start feeling some lower back pain. So you want to keep the core tight. Keep the hips high, but not too high. And if at any point during this you get tired, just pause take a little set break, and then keep going. Modification of this, which I'm gonna show you right now, would be on the knees. If you don't have the upper body and core strength, drop down, push up. Just make sure you have a straight line from your knees to your shoulders, and time. Nice job, buddy. Okay, going from pushing right to pulling but we're gonna add some balance and core to it to make this workout efficient. So we have a single leg balance row. Let me demo this for you. So what you're doing, you're on your left leg. Your right leg goes back. Balance, and let me tell you folks, balance, not one of my strengths, but just do your best with it. Okay, tight core, raise that leg back, and then you're rowing, coming back down. Make sure the shoulder doesn't dip on you. And if you can't balance, keep that leg close to the ground, but just make sure that back stays straight. Okay, we're gonna do 45 seconds. Right side only right now. Okay, we're going in three, two, one, and here we go. 45 seconds. Here we go, Jess. Now let's fight to get that back leg up a little bit. He's huffing and puffing here. This is good stuff for him. Jess is an athlete. These balance moves are going to pay dividends out on the basketball court. 
Keeping that core tight, the sweat is dripping. Looks good, looks good. In five, four, three, two, one, and time. So, one of the benefits of this workout is, it is a strength workout, but we're getting cardiovascular work in at the same time because we're not stopping between these exercises. So what we're gonna do, this is circuit number one. We're going back to the squat press. Gonna run through it one more time. You ready for this? Ready. All right, let's do it, buddy. 45 second squat press, one more time. Here we go. Crank it out, make it count. There we go. Now, if at any point, some people are stronger up top, some people are stronger in the lower body. If the lower body gives out, stay up top and keep with the presses. If the upper body gives out, keep them cocked right here and just squat. Show me some of those, Jess. Keep it right at the shoulder. Good. Nice squats. And what that does is that weight in the front challenges the core, always having to keep it tight and engaged. There we go. Let's put them both back together again. Finish it strong. Ten seconds. There we go, Jess. Three, two, one one and time nice that's the hardest move right there all right we'll get these out of the way for you squat kick or belt kick not wasting any time going in three two one and here we go here we go look like a russian dancer german dancer russian german i get them confused there we go now keep the weight on those heels, Jess. Turn to the side once. Let's get a good camera shot here. Now let's keep the weight on the heels. Keep the hips back. Good, good. 15 seconds. Finish it strong. This move also great for incorporating balance as you shift from one side to the other. Trust me, folks, it's a lot harder than it looks. Three, two, one and time nice job jess all right legs get a break we're going back down to the push-ups again let's do it 45 seconds i'm going to do them with you i'm going to do them with you okay here we go three two one and let's do it come on fire them off core is tight If I stand around watching too much in this video, I'm going to lose my pump, so i got to jump in here every now and then and keep it going. Modification, folks. I'm not doing this to cheat, just to show you one more time. Dropping down. Common mistake, you'll see people put their hips up like this. That's not what we're after. Keep those hips down. Shoulder blades together. Hands are under the chest. Here we go. Ten seconds. Finish it strong. Three, two, one. Whew. Now I feel for you, brother. Okay. Other side. Single leg balance rows. Let's get that other hand in. Left hand. Left leg going back. You ready for it? Here we go. There we go. Slow and controlled on this. Not a race. Fighting for height with that back leg. You're going for that tabletop effect. <laughs> now what you'll find with your balance, one side usually stronger than the other. Jess is right-handed. <clears throat> Played a lot of baseball. His left leg has been his plant leg when he throws. Because of that, the left leg is more stable. Left side of the core is more stable. Here we go. Finish it off. Finish it off. Then we get a break. Come on. Three, two, one, and 30 second rest. It's tough. Circuit number one is done. Stretching out now. Something you can do in these breaks, some ballistic stretches. Just keep moving. Give yourself some huggers. Keep the body loose. 30 second rest. 
allow that heart rate a little bit of time to cool down here. Do some kickers here, keep the hamstrings loose. Thirty to sixty seconds, thirty to ninety seconds, folks. If thirty seconds isn't enough, take sixty seconds. Try not to take more than ninety, though. Okay, circuit number two, we have overhead back lunges. So you don't need a lot of weight here. <laughs> the core is working like crazy in this one. I'm going to show you from the side. Overhead arm is directly over your head. Jess, let me have you do this. Arm is directly over your head. Back lunge with the same leg. So drop down there, Jess. Keep your torso tall. It's going to stretch out that hip flexor. Engage the glutes. Engage the quads. And then come back up. Fight to keep that arm straight. 45 seconds again. Ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Here we go. There we go. Now he's showing you an advanced way. You can either drop down, just tap up with the leg, or you can drop down and actually raise the knee. He's doing the more advanced version, adding the element of balance. Love to see it. This one also, like all the moves in the Glowing Fit series, are much harder than they appear to be. Now, if you find that this weight is too much to handle, what you're going to do, just put a hand up, drop down, and stand up. Modification there. And I'll take this from you. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, we've got a real nasty core and back move here. We have alternating plank rows from the push-up position. What you're going to do, get in this push-up position. These dumbbells here roll from side to side, so it's going to add an element of balance. So you're here, drop down, and then row. Keep that core tight, drop down, and then row. Modification, drop down to the knees, and then come up. Okay. So what I want to see, I want to see you stay off the knees as long as you can. And then when you need to drop down, just go right ahead. Man, I did three reps and I'm tired. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one, and here we go. There it is. Keep that core nice and tight. <sighs> it's going to work muscles that you never knew you had. There we go. Jess is doing a great job keeping that straight line from heels to shoulders, which is what we want. 15 seconds, drop down to the knees. Go ahead and turn to the side, Jess, too, so we can check the form over here. Keep it going. There it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, buddy. Okay, we have a weighted lateral lunge. These are 15s. You don't need anything close to 15s on these. So what you're doing here, you're here. We're dropping down. Right leg is straight. Left leg bends. Keep your chest tall. You're getting this nice stretch on the inner thigh, and then you're popping up. Let me show you that from the side. Step to the side, sit back into that chair. You don't want to be going forward. Sit back in the chair, pop up. Okay, we're going to stick with one side here. Jess is catching his breath. He's good to go. 45 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. There it is. Nice thing about this move, it's also a flexibility move. Stretching out that hip adductor on the inside. The challenge here as he keeps going with this is going to be keeping that torso tall and keeping that knee from popping forward. Just go ahead and turn to the side. Keep it going. We're staying on that one leg. 
Getting some nice glute pop up, explode up. Another great move for sports with the explosive aspect. Three, two, one, and time. Let's set those down. Switching to our heavier weights. Keeping in line with the lower body theme, but now we're adding an upper body element as well. It's a squat with an upright row. Weight drops down between the legs. Chest has, has to stay tall here. Squat, use the legs, pull up to the chin, drop back down. Pull up, drop back down from the side. It's here. My weight is on my heels. I kick back. There's no bend in my back. We don't want this to happen. Keep it tight. Use the legs to boost yourself up. Okay? All right, Jess. He's feeling it. He's burning. He's going to love the feeling afterwards, though. Ready? And here we go. There it is. Use those legs to give you a nice boost. Try to get all in one fluid motion here. There we go. If you get to the point where you're using your legs enough, your arms will really just be along for the ride. Now see how his eyes stay forward. Another trick to keeping your back straight. You can keep your eyes up, looking up towards that ceiling. It'll help make sure that back stays in good, proper alignment. Give me a side shot here, Jess. In five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right. A little 10 second breather here. Guess what we're doing now? We're doing it again. Overhead back lunge, we got to get that other side. Left arm, left leg going back. JB5, here you go. All right. Ready, brother? Overhand, left hand goes up. Keeping it straight. Left leg drops back. And here we go. 45 seconds. There we go. Right side is going to be more of a challenge for some people, myself included. There we go. Let's face to the right now. Let's get that side shot again. This arm, ideally, you want to have it directly over the head. It can be tight. It can be difficult if you have tight lats, tight shoulders, tight chest. In three, two, one, and time. Good. Okay. Alternating plank rows, the back and the core. We'll get that timer ready. 45 seconds. This one's going to be a challenge the second time through. You've got to tighten up that core. Going in three, two, one, and here we go, Jess. Plank row. Plank row. I'm going to hop in here, do a few with you. Here it is. I got the five pounders. No problem here. No problem here. If you want to make it tougher, you can even add a little pause and then drop down. Jess, you just keep doing what you're doing. I'll show the folks the pause. Drop down to those knees. There we go. Drop those hips a little bit. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one and time. Oh, all right. A couple more exercises to go in this circuit, circuit number two. <clears throat> Weighted lateral lunges. We're going the other direction. <clears throat> Give you the five pounders. Two more exercises, then we'll take a break. Hang in there. Dropping down to the side. Left leg is straight this time. Pop back up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Weight is on the right heel. Hips are dropping back as he steps down. See how that, those hips kick back and then pop back up. There we go. There we go. I don't think Jess realized what he was signing up for today. He's being a good sport about it, though. He's a fit guy. He can take it. 
15 seconds, Jess. Come on, ball of baldy, let's do it. Almost there. Three, two, one, and time. All right, mister. Squat, upright row. Went with the heavy one last time. Let's go lighter this time. 45 seconds, we'll get that timer going here. In three, two, one, here we go. Squat up to the chin. Squat up to the chin. There we go. Use those legs, use those legs to power it. If you're using enough explosion, you can even make this a power move here where I'm dropping down and I'm even getting a little bit of a hop at the top. Kind of a ballistic type bounce here. Hop at the top, explode up. Great move for sports. 10 seconds left, finish it strong. Here we go, pick up that pace. Three, two, one, and time. We're gonna give you 60 seconds to catch your breath. So what you can do, folks, in these rest periods, some more ballistic movements, just kind of an active quad stretch here, not holding it, just keep the movement going. You can drop down, a little straight leg, balance reach here, drop down, get those kicks going. Just keeping the muscles loose keeping the heart rate up, but also allowing, allowing it to come down to a certain extent. Guess what? We only have one more circuit. Jess is working hard. I'm breaking a sweat just watching him. Ready to do this, Jess? Okay. And guess what? The legs are working again here. Okay, so first move is a forward lunge with a lateral raise. So this is a leg move, a core move, and a balance move. Getting the deltoids in, a little bit of detail work on the arms here. You're dropping forward, raising the arms, pop back up, switch sides, losing my balance, whoop, whoop. raise it, pop back up. 45 seconds. The end is near. Three, two, one. Here we go. There we go. Nice simultaneous movement there. There we go. Now a common mistake you'll see as Jess continues to do this is you'll see some people step forward and as they raise those dumbbells, they'll throw their back into the move. You want to keep it nice and tight. Jess, give me a side angle here. There we go. That torso staying upright. He has 10 seconds left. He's working like crazy. Three, two, one, and time. You should see the sweat come off. It's dripping. It smells kind of bad too, but that's okay. All right. One of my personal favorites here is a straight leg deadlift. Lower body. In particularly the hamstrings. If you haven't done these before, I'll warn you, you might feel a little bit of hamstring soreness for the next few days, but that's all right. It'll go away. It'll make you stronger. It'll work your core and the balance aspect is going to work that central nervous system. So what we're doing here, body is tight. Weight is in the right hand. You're dropping down. Leg lifts as the torso drops down. Try to keep this left leg as straight as you can. You can't see this calf, but it's twitching like crazy right now. And then come back up. So full speed, it looks like this. You're down and you're up. Modification, just keep this foot back. Keep it close to the ground. Tap it, come back up. All right, Jess, ready to do it. Left leg only. Right leg is dropping back. Three, two, one, and here we go. There we go. Now what I want to see you do, Jess, raise that, le that right leg at the same time as your body starts to drop down here. There we go. 
Make sure that right shoulder doesn't dip on you. There we go. This is tough. You might stumble a little bit. Not a problem. Here we go. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and time. Just getting the one side only for now. We'll get the other side. You've probably figured out the pattern by now the second time through. We have bent rows alternating. So from the side angle, I'm kicking my hips back, trying to get my chest as close to parallel as I can. What you might notice is if you lack the mobility and flexibility in the lower back, your back's going to start rounding as you get lower, in which case you're going to have to stay a little bit more upright. But if you can get down there, get low, keep the weight on your heels, your shoulders are back, and then you're alternating the rows, one side, other side. Just like so, from the forward angle, we're here, one, and then the other. Solid back exercise. The standing bent over element of it adds some core to the mix. You ready to do this? Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. There we go. One at a time. This one's right up your alley, Jess. I've seen you do those pull-ups in the gym. Eyes are forward as usual. Keep it, help keeping the spine in proper alignment. Let's go ahead and turn to the side again. Most important part here, hips are back. Chest Always facing forward. Even as you drop down, that chest is going to be facing forward. Ten seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. Okay. Circuit three only has three exercises, so we're running through those three one more time. Alternating forward lunge with the lateral raise one more time, Jess. Have a nice healthy dinner after this, huh? Yes. Maybe. It's not pizza night, is it? No. Okay. All right, here we go. Last three exercises, and we're going. Make them count, Jess. Push hard. Dig deep for these. Dig deep. There we go. Now, as you lunge forward... Keep the weight on that heel. Try not to put too much on your front toe because then you'll feel the stress on the knee. That's tough. Good. Torso's upright. Let's get another side view of it. Now keep an eye on that knee, folks. See how it goes to the edge of the toe, but it doesn't go past. That's what we're looking for. In five, four, three, two, one. Done with those guys. Straight leg deadlift. We've got the other side. Let's push through it, buddy. Left hand, left leg going back, balancing on the right leg. The right leg's going to be a tougher balance for Jess. Here we go, 45 seconds. Let's make it happen. Right. Yep. Standing on the right leg. Weight is in the left hand. Left leg drops back. Three. Two, one, here we go. The balance is going to be tricky over here. Especially with all those years of baseball. All-star center fielder right here, folks. One of the best arms in the business. There we go. He's doing a pretty good job on this right side. There we go. Just make sure that left shoulder doesn't dip on you. There we go, his leg is nice and straight. Good torso, starting to creep a little bit. Make sure that leg comes up with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. We're down to the last exercise, everybody. Oh my gosh. Bent over rows, let's finish it strong. 45 seconds, and then we can breathe, and then we can relax. All right, Jess, let's make it happen. It's money time here. It's money time. Three, two, one, and here we go. Push through it. Push through it. 
If you're tired at this point of the workout, just keep going. There we go. Just still doing a great job looking forward. There we go. Shoulders are staying up in that cocked position, not dipping. The tendency at this point of the workout, as the core is fatigued, is for the shoulders to start dipping on you. You don't want to let that happen. 15 seconds. Okay, last 10. Here we go. Pick it up. Double time it. Double time it. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Set them down, my friend. Holy cow. Workout number one of the GlowFit series, total body strength, is complete. Make sure you follow the cool down sequence, stretch out, hydrate, drink your water, get a nice, healthy, squared post-workout meal in to help you replenish, replenish, and we'll see you next time. Hi there, this is Lauren, and I am going to be bringing Core City to you today from Glowing Fit. Really important things we're going to focus on today is form, and I have my friend Haley here to help me out today. Um, we're going to talk about our plank first, because a lot of people will start doing the plank, but little do we know there's so much form involved in the plank. Our first option is going to be on our knees. We want to make sure there's a nice angle from your elbows and your shoulders to where your hip flexor is. This way, if you have a nice angle, we got to start over, I'm, I'm saying all the wrong words. Hi, I'm Lauren and welcome to Core City, part of Glowing Fit, um, my series with my partner Gary. And today we have Haley to demo our wonderful abdominal workout that we have planned for you. Important things are to focus on form and of course to challenge yourself as far as you can go today. We're going to start by talking about our plank, since a lot of people I see them doing planks in the gym and some of them are very good and some of them need a little bit of work. So we're going to tweak those planks today. We're going to have Haley demo. Our first option is on your knees. Your plank has to have a nice angle from your knees to your shoulders right here, just like Haley has it, to make sure that you're getting enough work in the core. You'll know when you're working, so keep that in mind. Option two, we're going to be on our forearms. Haley's going down there, perfect. You're going to lift up on those feet, squeezing the core tight. You're nice and tucked. You're pulling through your shoulder blades and, of course, squeezing through right here. Then our third option is going to be on the hands. Some people choose to do this as opposed to the forearm plank simply because it is a little more work on the shoulders but also a very good challenge for all of the exercises we're going to do today. So our first circuit, basically we're going to go for 45 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We'll repeat that through our circuits, all the way up through four circuits today. And then we have a finisher that I think Haley's going to be really excited for. Mm. All right, so are you ready, Haley? Yeah, let's go. All right, so our first exercise, walking push-ups or a forearm plank. So Haley's going to demo here. You're going to walk to the side, push up, other side, and push up again. If you get tired, go to your plank. That's where I'm talking today. So we're going to start in three, two, go. All right, see here how Haley has beautiful form. She's walking back and forth. She's got a nice push-up, squeezing through the shoulder blades. If she's lucky, I'll join her in a few seconds. Come on, Haley, let's go. How you doing? Good. We're gonna keep Love going. Love me some push-ups. <laughs> That's what I want all of you to stay at home. We're pushing up. 45 seconds is pretty tough, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Stay with me. Woo. Last one. And break. Woo. Very good. Moving right away, as fast as you can through our workouts. We're going to go into our V-set. One of my very favorite exercises, if your tailbone is going to bother you, roll up your mat. Make sure you're nice and comfortable. Option one, your hands are behind you. You're leaning back. Option two, you're up. Option three, legs are right out. So we're going to start for 45 seconds in three, two, and go. Option also to keep that crunch in there. This is going to get those lower abs going, make you move. Might bother your hip flexors. All right, Haley, keep going. Let's check her form. So she's got a perfect angle here, coming in, bringing her knees into her chest. 
and she's going to go for 45 seconds. All right. Very good. Keep breathing. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. You've got about 10 seconds left, Haley. Come on. Three, two, and one. Very good. Now on to one of my very favorites, our tuck crunch. So Haley's going to lay on her mat, bringing her elbows and her knees together all the way on the ground, really targeting those lower abs and in. Good. Bring those knees all the way down and your toes to touch the bottom of the mat. Good. So this one's really good for upper and lower abs. If you get tired, take away one, one or the other. So you can either just do the crunch or just bring the legs in. Very good. Keep going. Keep breathing. Chins face in the sky. Keep going. How you doing? Good. Feeling <laughs> those lower abs. Keep it up. You've got about five more seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Little break. Now, flutter kicks. So Haley knows what these are, so I'm sure you're very excited for them. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to flutter, flutter kick those legs. Option is to keep the hands underneath the glutes to give you a nice little lift. A little bit of help on the lower back, too. So any back problems, you go ahead and put your hands right underneath your glutes. We're going to flutter kick in three, two, and go. Good. The lower your legs are, the more challenging this is. So Haley's going to tuck in her stomach, squeezing, and lower those abs. If we start to get a little tired or hip flexors start to hurt, you can bring your legs up. A little relief, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Very good. Sometimes I cross my eyes when I do these to look down at my core. <laughs> Everyone's a little unique. All right, you've got 10 seconds left. You can do it. Keep breathing. Good breathing. Three, two, and one. Very good. And break it. Break it. Stop it. <laughs> All right, so Haley was feeling the 45-second intervals. So now we're going to make her do 30 seconds. Why not burn it out, right? <laughs> yeah. So this one I'm lucky enough to do with you. So we're going to go to the right for two with a nice push-up. Walking push-ups in three, two, go. All right, three, two, and one. Very good. Whew. Slip right over to your V-sit. Now, if your abs are gassed, go right ahead and take out that crunch. But I think haley has got enough in her today for a crunch. So we're going to go for 30 seconds in three, two, and go. Her form's not suffering yet, so hopefully by the end of the circuits, I'll get to her. You got it. Keep it up. If your back starts to hurt, please remember to keep your hands behind you like this. That's totally fine, too. But Haley's killing it. All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now... We got tuck crunches. Elbows to knees again. Make sure those heels are touching the floor. In three, two, go. Good. Very, very good. I wish I could feel your pain, but I'm just sitting here chilling. <laughs> you got it. I'll feel them for both of us. Yep. And I'm sure those of you at home are feeling it with Haley. Maybe I'll join you sometime.
Very good. You've only got about five more seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right away, flutter kicks. You know what to expect, so we're moving through these 30-second 30, 30 circuits even faster. Good. Relax those shoulders. Good. Keep breathing. You usually want to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Remember that. It really helps. In five seconds. Four. Three. Two. And one. Very good. You made it. So that's circuit one. Congratulations to those of you at home. If you're done now, you're done. But if you're with me, let's go to circuit number two. Take breaks when you need it, water when you need it. Keep remembering that this is your workout. So are you ready for circuit two? Yeah. All right. First, we've got our bird dog. Your knees can be on the ground or they can be up. So this is the first option. Alternating legs and arms for 45 seconds. Option number two. We're up here. Woo, my balance. Alternating. This is for the pros. 45 seconds. No matter which option you choose, your core is tight. Ready? Yeah. And go. All right. She's looking good. We're going to focus here on trying to keep those hips from moving. So if you don't have a Lauren at home to keep your hips straight, try to really focus on that core. Come on, Haley, keep them straight. Good. There we go. See, a little more challenging, huh? Yeah. <laughs> My balance now. See, everyone struggles with something. And our workouts are geared toward kind of hitting, you know, your strong points and your weaknesses just so we can try to be the best we can be all around. Mine, as well as Haley just indicated, balance. We do have a balance DVD in this series if you want to check it out. But core will really help you with that. So we're going to focus on this for two more seconds and go. Very good. You're all done. Woo! So we got gotcha. you. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> she is phenomenal. So next we're going to go with our corkscrews. This one's really good because you have multiple options as always. So option one, you're laying on your back. Option two, you can be propped up right here. You've got your legs out. You're coming all the way up and around. So you want to make sure you make kind of a circle with your legs. Which one would you like me to do? I want you to go up on your arms. That sometimes is a little more challenging. So you're kind of more on your elbows because you have a different lever working for you. So corkscrew it out in three, two, and go. Good. I should probably move out of her way. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't mind that at this point, huh? Good. Try to make them nice and round. If your back's bothering you, please go down onto your back. Up and around and down. Good. Up and around and down. Good. Keep going. You've got about 10 seconds left. Keep breathing. Keep those legs straight. Woo, we got her breathing. Let's go. Keep it up. And done. Very good. Very, very good. So those ones are really tough too. With our next one, your obliques or your sides, which is a trouble spot for most of us, will be challenged. We've got many, many options in our side plank. So take a minute here to kind of get really comfortable with which option you choose. Always the first option, leg is down, you're lifted up. Most important thing here, you're staying in a line and your hips are to the ceiling. Option one. Option two, staggered legs. Option three, we're stacked. We're going to stay up here for about 45 seconds and you can just stay right here if you need to. Otherwise, we have a really crazy variation, a dip, and a twist that Miss Haley is going to take on today. So this time I'm lucky enough to plank with her. So let's do 45 seconds right here. And you're up. And go. Stay right here. Leg on the ground. Or add that dip. Haley's got the dip. I'm going to give you the modified version right here. Still a good amount of work. Woo. 
Keep breathing. Really push that shoulder blade back. When you need a break, take it, or just go right back to your plank. Woo. For five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Woo. Switching sides. Let's do this. We've got three seconds. Two, one, and go. We're up here. Remember your options. Very good. Keep it up. Hips to the sky. Hips to the sky. Keep that good form. We're going to check Haley. Hips up. High. Good. Woo. Where are you feeling it? Oh, right in my ribs. <laughs> All right. I'll take that. Keep it up, Haley. You can do it. For five. Four. Three, two, and one. Very good. That's the first part of circuit two. So we're moving on to our 30 second intervals. We're gonna breeze right through them. Haley's got the bird dog right away. Right here. And you're up. In three, two, go. And you thought I was going to work out with you. <laughs> Newsflash, we've got the hips. Hold those hips. Hold them, hold them, hold them. Good. Come on, work through it. If you need to, drop down to those knees. Drop down. Show our audience what we're doing. If this is your first time doing the DVD, please start on the knees. I want you to learn as well as work out at the same time. And we're good. Whew. Nice. Corkscrews. Your favorite. All right, we're on that back. In three, two, go. Legs nice and high. Try to keep them straight if you can. And if you're really crazy, you can always raise a weight over your head if you'd like. Good. Very good. So which do you think is easier? Oh, definitely on the back. There you go. But I've done almost two circuits now. <laughs> so we should be a little tired. A little tired. Absolutely. And keep in mind, every single body is different. So you might actually find that the back is harder versus the elbows. And we're done. Good. Side plank dip and twist again. We've got 30 seconds on each side. And go. 30 seconds are sure flying by for me. <laughs> Very good. Keep a straight line. You got it. So we're going to push forward that body just a little bit. There you go. Good. Keep it up. And you're done. Very good. Other side. And go. Nice form, Haley. Keep it up. Hips to the sky. Now, if your elbows or your shoulders are giving you problems, just take a break. The only way that you can get through these is by practice. So keep trying with me, but take breaks when you need to. And you're done. Good. Woo! Circuit 2 is complete. You made it. Circuit 2 of Core City. And she's sweating. We've made it. <laughs> so while she's already sweating, I figured why not throw in some cardio in here today. We're going to stand up right off of our mats. Important thing about working your abs is that you want to work them from all angles in all different ways. So 
every day shouldn't necessarily be the same. This workout DVD is going to get you through as long as you need, but try to mix it up when you can. So we've got cardio core here. We're first going to start with our high knees. We're going to go for 30 seconds each, two times through. So our first high knee move, you're moving those knees up, 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 up. Good, Haley's got it. So those knees want to be above your waist. So if you can, bring those knees as high as possible. And we're going to go in three, two, one. All right, so Haley's going to show you how she works those high knees. They're right above her waist. She's looking good. Very, very good. Keep it up. All right. You're 15 seconds through. Good. And see how she's using her arms? She's using her arms to help her keep moving, help you burn some calories, get that heart rate up. Go ahead. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on. Keep breathing. In three, two, one. Good. Good. So a little mini break. I get to show you our next move. Side knee. So I use this one in my kickboxing classes, in my core classes, everything across the board. You're reaching up and you're going to give yourself a nice knee into the chest with a twist. 30 seconds. If that's not hard enough, make it a little more cardio with a nice hop. All right. You ready, Haley? Yeah. Let's do this. 30 seconds each side and go. Up. Good. You want these to be quick. But if you're not there yet, that's okay. We can go nice and slow or fast like Haley. All right, 15 seconds through. Keep it up. Are you squeezing your abs? Oh, yeah. Good. There, I'm tired. <laughs> that's good. That's what we need. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Switching sides. I'm not slipping all over the place. It means you're moving. Yeah. All right, let's do this again. Other side. In three, two, go. Nice. So the bonus to this cardio work here is that not only will you work your abs, but you'll work your heart, you'll work your legs, you'll work a little bit of everything. Your lungs. <laughs> You're working. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good. In five, four, three, two, and one. So good, Haley. Give yourself about 10 seconds to rest, longer if you need to. Please remember there is this wonderful thing called the pause button that you can press if you need a break, so please do. Our next move is standing knees. The only difference here is it's like a high knee, but it's more of a mountain climber. So we're going to bring your arms and legs up, alternating at opposite sides. Break it, sorry. All right, standing high knees, super exciting move, just like a mountain climber. So your arms are going to go up and your legs at the same time. 30 seconds. Come on, let's go. I'll do it with you. All right. Three, two, go. Get those arms up. I don't want any of this going on. Nice and high. Knees are going to be above the waist. Option. Just climb it out. Do a little dance, whatever you need. Climb it out. Woo. Three, two, one. Very good. Whew. Now, heart rate's got to come back down a little bit before we go to the mat. Standing oblique, crunch. To the side. We're going to start in three, two, and go. If you're like me, you might hear a little popping in your lovely hip. Word of advice, if it hurts, stop. If it doesn't, you're just like me. <laughs> might have a little funkiness going on there. But please, if it hurts, give yourself a break. You've got three, two, and one. Very good. Switching sides. Arms up and go. Really focus on squeezing the core here. Nice big breaths.
Good. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. Very good. Whew. So you made it through cardio core. You ready for one more time? Just yeah. one more time through for the second time. Yep. 30 seconds each move right away. High knees. Let's go. Use those arms. Come on. Show us how those knees are doing. Turn to the side for us, Haley. She's got them nice and high. She's kicking butt. Or maybe I am. <laughs> kicking butt. Let's do it. Right to the side in three, two, and one. Look at her at in that hop. Ooh, <laughs> you got it. She's working. Speed them up. Three, two, one. Good. Other side. Woo! Arms up and go. Like I said, I'm doing the modified version. Nice and slow. The big twist. Haley's got beast mode over there. You ready for this? Yeah. Mountain, mountain climbers in the sky. Let's do it. In three, two, go. Remember, option. Nice and slow. If you don't like the hands, drop it low. You got it. Keep it up. Woo. Come on. Come on, Haley, show them your knees. Show them your knees. Good. See, look how she's nice and high. Three, two, good. Woo! So, fortunately, we'll be able to do a nice oblique crunch to cool it down again. One last time, 30 seconds each side. This time, a little faster. In three, two, go. Come on. Sides. Let's do this. In three, two, and go. Woo. Feel those abs working. Sometimes I like to put my hand right here so I can feel all the muscles working. Keep it up. for circuit three yeah all right bring it on Here's remember that. remember pause button water breaks towel breaks you need some water girl yeah. all right I'm gonna go get get you some water hang tight show them how to keep moving here you go Thank you. take a sip really important you stay hydrated here reason being millions of reasons but we always want to make it through our workout to make sure that we're giving our bodies what we need when we're taking from it, we have to put back into it. You ready, girl? I'm going to give that to you. All right. Circuit number three. 
my favorite plank jacks or a nice little hold. So Haley's with me here. Option one on the elbows. All right, you're holding it right here. Option two, nice and big, plank it out. Three, you're on those hands for 45 seconds and go. Let me check her form. Form police over here. Push through those shoulder blades, girl. Tuck the stomach. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Woo. Where do we feel it? Inner thighs. Inner thighs. See, we've got a little bit of everything. Keep in mind, core is everything. But there is a huge emphasis on abs today. Breaks when you need it. But we're going to work a little bit of everything. Come on, girl. You've got about five more seconds left. You can do it. Push. Three, two, and one. Fabulous. Woo! So, we're rolling over. Our single, single leg crossover crunch. You're on your back. You're laying down. One leg is over the other. And you're going to come up and down. Up and down. Good. Squeeze in here. Lower abs and go. She gets a little extra, so feel free to start when you're ready. Keep breathing. Breathe out on your way up. Woo. Low abs. Do we feel it? Yes. Good. You might feel it a little bit in your hip flexor. That's right here along the band of your upper leg, and that's okay. We're going to strengthen everything today. You've got three seconds, two, and one. Fabulous. Other side. Switching over and go up and down. Really focus on lifting that chest. The knee is to the sky just along with the chin. Woo! This is tougher than I thought. Come on, we can do it. Woo! 15 seconds, come on. One. Absolutely. Just need a mini break after that one. Especially when we have the reverse scissors crunch going on. <laughs> Usually I recommend keeping a towel, but shirts are perfect too. So they're here to be sweated on, correct? All right, so reverse scissors crunch. You're on your back. Your legs are going up and down. Keep going with me and go. That's right. It's all right with me as long as you're still moving. Come on. Remember your breaks when you need them. If those hip flexors are just burned. Take a second, stretch them out, do what you need. Keep it up. So you will feel this in your thighs as well as your glutes, your core, all across the board. Breaks when you need it. Come on. Woo! Good. There you go. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. Important note here. One, you just made it through circuit three. So congratulations. Woo! Except... Do it again. 30 seconds each more. Woo. One more time. You got it, girl. So important thing to remember here is breathing can really help you with your core. Breathing from your core is the best way to kind of get you through those exercises no matter what you're doing. So Haley's already way ahead of the game. She's got plank jacks on her mind. I do. 
So we're going to hit them in three, two, and go. 30 seconds here. Another option, you can always tap those feet. Woo. Keep going. You got this. Whew. Hips down, two and one, fabulous. Whew. Very good. Take a moment when you need to, go into child's pose, stretch those legs. Haley's got a good child's pose right there. Really push through those shoulder, bla shoulder blades, bring those hands forward, and take a second. Because your hip flexors are about to be on fire again with our single leg crossover crunch. You got this. Two, I reverse the other leg. You're gonna do one leg over. Yep, that's totally fine. And go. Down and up. Only 30 seconds this time, so maybe speed it up. Keep breathing. See? Breathing out on the way up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Switch right away. Right away, we got this. And go. Good. Keep your breathing. Keep it up. Squeeze those lower abs. Come on, right here. Woo, I feel them. She's got rocks. <laughs> Steamy hot, fiery tummy. Who doesn't want that? All right, you've got less than 10 seconds left. Come on, look fierce. Push through it. Three, two, and one. Fabulous. Reverse scissors crunch. You're almost done, guys. Keep it up. In three, two, one. Legs going up and down. Good, 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 good. Keep those legs straight. Do what you can. Very good. Of course, an option here is to just take out the up and down of the legs. You can always keep them just up top right here. Should be a little easier on the core because the lower you go, the harder. Breaks when you need it. Breaks, breaks, breaks. If the, <laughs> I know, they're killer. And you're done. If this workout is easy for you on your first time through, give me a call because I need to think of something else for you because this should be hard. It should be hard. Haley's in great shape, and a lot of you at home may have either just been starting or you're just looking to get back into things, or maybe you're extremely fit and into everything already. But really keep in mind that this is your workout, like I said. So please take your time and get into the workouts. All right, last circuit. 45 seconds, 30 off. There we go. You're in your plank again. All right. Our hardest option here, bringing those knees to the elbows or back down to your forearm plank again right here. All right. In three, two, go. 45 seconds. Come on. I need longer legs to touch my elbows. Well, we're all given what we're given, and we work with it. So let's go. Come on. Come on, breaks when you need it. Come on. You can do it. If you're back down in your forearm plank, maybe you're on your knees. Wherever you are, you're pushing through the shoulder blades and you're tight right here. You've got two seconds. And done. Woo! 
Yeah, that's fine. But that's okay. That one's still there. Okay. All right, so we've got a great uh, way to work the back. Remember, core isn't just abs, though this video is focused core mostly on our abs. We are going to work our back, too. So one of my favorites, you're going to come down to your mat. Option one, your arms are behind your head. You're going to twist right here, squeezing the glutes. Option two, opposite arm, opposite leg, just like Haley's got for 45 seconds and go. Try to keep those legs straight in the back there. Good. So you might feel this in your glutes. You might feel it in your quads. You never know where you're going to feel it, but just keep pulling. Keep those legs straight, Haley. Good. Remember, drop the legs if it's too much or drop the arms if the shoulders are sore. Very good. Keep breathing. You want to feel like your stomach is being scooped up from the mat. So squeeze that stomach in three, two, and one. Good. Nice little break. So side plank with taps. If you did our strength video yesterday, your shoulders might be a little sore. So you can always, like I said, come right down to your leg. This still will be some work on the shoulder, but a little less. We're tapping front and back, front and back. Option two, you're up here, and go. Yeah, Haley, you got it. Option two is where we're going to be. Come on. Very good. Make sure those shoulders are back. Good. Hips are high. 45 seconds each side. Keep breathing. Very good. Modify when you need to. Change things up. Three, two, and one. Very good. Switching sides right away. Other side, and we're up. Let's go. Woo. Keep breathing. Come on. Make sure you're not tensing up your neck. Stay nice and loose. Let's check her form. Her elbows and shoulders are back. Her hips are lifted. Come on. Woo. We're feeling it now, I think. Right, Haley? We're feeling it? Oh, yeah. There you go. She's with us again. All right, and down. Very good. So last time, 30 seconds through that, and then we'll see what happens. We've got our plank with legs in and out. Remember to keep those hips nice and tucked. Glutes are tucked. You're right here. In and out. Let's go. 30 seconds. Good job, Haley. Keep it up. Wow, we're really doing it here. We're working hard. Keep going. I know. Fun, right? And down. Whew. Child's pose again. Give yourself a little break when you need it. When you're ready, right back into our back twist. Here on the ground. Hands behind the head. Lifting our legs and go. 30 seconds here. You can do anything for 30 seconds, so yeah. let's do it. <laughs> or as I say, suck it up, buttercup. You got it.
Or maybe Bumblebee. You look kind of like a Bumblebee this today. <laughs> You're doing great. Keep it up. Come on. Three, two, and good. Very good. Back to our side plank with taps. Keep in mind here, taps aren't necessary. Side plank's not necessary. I want you to do what you can do today. Very good, get into position, seeing a nice line. We're going to bring you back here a little bit, Haley. Make sure your elbow is in line with your feet. So you're going to move those oh. feet forward or Let's elbows back. Saying. Yeah, there you go. In three, two, go. Good, look at those taps. She's killing it. Relax that head, shoulders are back. Feel free to use your hand if you need to, to prop you up a little bit. And when you're ready, I want you to put your shoulders all the way back again. Good, there you go. Woo, and done. Switch sides. Oh man, that was a killer. Where are you feeling it? I feel a lot in my shoulders, but... Woo, that's <laughs> <high>. <laughs> Told you we can get everything today. What all of us girls want, though. <laughs> right? right? And you boys too. I'm oh, sure you want them. Too, for sure. Nobody likes a flabby outer thigh. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Let's go. Let's work for those outer thighs in three, two, and go. Very good. Are you feeling it? Oh, yeah. Are you glowing fit today? Oh, I'm glowing. <laughs> Can you see it on my face? I see it. You're glowing everywhere. In three, two, and good. Woo! Oh, I'm exhausted watching you out there. <laughs> so, you can end the DVD right now and know that you left with an incredible workout. Or you can do the finisher with me and Haley. We've got um, a great little option for you. Once again, keep in mind this is only if you're just absolutely not completely gassed and you've got maybe a little bit left. We've got the finisher. We've got eight seconds here. Mountain climbers twisting side to side and then forward as many times as I say. Are you ready? All right, got to put my hair back for this one. In three, two, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Side, five, six, seven, eight. Forward, side, forward, side, forward, and hold. Oh, hold. hold, hold, hold. These are for those of you who've been doing this a long time, who just need a little extra fun. For five, four, three, two, and one. You did it. Woo! And we're back up. Give me some, girl. Nice job. Nice job to you at home. And we hope to see you soon. Sorry. Oh, are you playing that one? Oops. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Yeah. Welcome back to another edition of Leon Phelps, a.k.a. the Dream Maker, right here. We're about to be talking about where dreams come true. I'm going to show you a couple moves for the kids. This one right here is something I use... When I'm trying to do a little in and out shake and bake, first thing I do is I set them up like this, and then I go one, two, and then around the back like that. It's real simple. It looks more complicated than it is, 
but um, try that a couple times at home. The next one, this is called the Professor Midterm. I'm going to do it sideways like this. So you want to set them up, and then what you're going to do is you're going to do a stiff-legged crossover. Now what that means is you're going to go like this and then bring it back, okay? So you go boom, then bring it back like this. Now it's a little bit of a carry, but forget about that piece. You're going to come back and step back like that, and then hit it one more time with the in and out. Now that's called the midterm. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Lauren and I'm here in the Glowing for Glutes workout for our Glowing Fit series. I have my friend here, Lindsay, who's going to help me out today with our workout. This is one of my favorite workouts because we have some really cool things going on for us. Glutes are our powerhouse. That's where we get make the money. That's where we get our start over. Hi there, I'm Lauren and today we are Glowing for Glutes in the Glowing Fit series. My friend Lindsay and I are here to do a great glute workout to kind of tone those muscles. We're going to get the legs, we're going to get quads, hamstrings, but our focus here today is glutes. Why? Because they are very near and dear to my heart. Um, little quick story, when I was younger I had no butt and I got made fun of a lot and to be honest it wasn't too fun. So I said take this world when I decided to do some squats and get going on my glutes. So Lindsay is going to share this wonderful experience with me today and we're going to kick some butt. Are you ready? Wonderful. So our first exercise. Basically, we're going through circuits of 30 seconds each. We'll do each circuit twice. 30 seconds of each move, twice. I'll give you modified versions. I'll give you advanced versions. Let's just have some fun. You can take your weight. Here, weight is always optional. If this is your first time, I always suggest no weight for the first time. Um, and that's about it. So in three, two, one. 30 seconds right here. Sumo squat. Your feet are nice out and wide pointing to the outsides of the rooms. You're squeezing your glutes. This is our first move. It should activate those glutes and get you going. If you're already pretty warmed up, you can always speed it up a little bit. Keep breathing. Come on, Lindsay. Woo! Breathing with me. Good. And you're down. Option here is to drop the weight or you can stick with me. We've got our next move, a little squat with a leg lift. Important thing here, keep those knees forward. Those glutes are tucked. You're going down and back up. You ready? 30 seconds each side. Let's go. Nobody wants a nasty outer thigh. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> if today's your first time, please keep in mind that we have many, many days together left. Every day's different. Start where you need to, and we'll build from there. Very good. Switch legs. Woo! And go. First time I worked my glutes wasn't too pretty. <laughs> Tell you that. And we're not here to be pretty. We're here to be strong. We're here to glow. <sighs> Woo! Bet you can hear me breathing. Reminder for those of you with asthma, like myself, take breaks when you need it. And done. Whew. Dropping that weight myself, right onto our glute bridge. You're on the ground. Your toes are on the floor. You've got two options. One minute, Lindsay's going to do this. Double glute bridge. You're up here. And holding it nice and tight, going down and up. Option two, one leg with me for 30 seconds. In three, two, go. Up and down. Whew. Enough of that for me. Let's check her form. Keep going. Pull those glutes tight. Ha ha, I get to take breaks. <laughs> Keep it up. 
All right, lift those hips a little bit higher. Woo, and good. Mini break, you're going back up, double legs. I'm on the other side here. In three, two, go. Woo! Uh-oh. Gotta hide the shirts. Hide the tummy. <laughs> Come on, girls. Keep it up. Woo! A little break again. I'm gonna check your form. All right. You're looking beautiful, as always. And done. Very good. Now, one of my favorites... We're back up right away, jump squats. Arms can be wherever you want. I like to keep mine here, nice and strong. We're going down and up for 30 seconds. Let's go. That's our advanced option. Keep in mind, we can also go to the toes or just a nice squat. Lindsay, keep hopping. Keep going. Bring those knees together, girl. Good. I'll be with you. For five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, you made it through, but we do it again. So let's go. We've got our sumo squat here. You'll earn your break right after we're done with the circuit. If you're at home, remember my friend the pause button. That's your break whenever you need it. <laughs> Feet wide in three, two, and go. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Stay where you are. Turn you to the side. We're going out. Squeeze the glutes in. Out. Squeeze in. It might feel a little funny at first, as I'm sure you might. <laughs> but this move is essential. And good, very good. Side squat to leg lift. Feel free to drop your weight. Right side first. Chest is high. And go. Really initiate that movement in the hips. And pull up those legs. Good. You're looking good. I'm waiting for her to mess up so I can take a break. Woo! You're doing great. Lindsay and our viewers at home, you're doing awesome. Switch legs. Whew. Let's get ready and go. Now, if you don't have all the time in the world to work out, keep in mind, you can do each circuit once instead of twice. A little tip, don't let time keep you from working out. And good. Woo! So good. Keep it up. We've got our glute bridges here. This time, I'm going to watch you. One leg up, the other's down. Keep in mind, like I said, both legs is fine. Lifting those lips high, hips high, that's all we need. In three, two, and go. Good. Got those runner's glutes. Good. <laughs> Keep them up. She's doing great. I'm sure you are at home. Breaks when you need it. Whew. Oh, hot. I know. We're getting warm. What do you know? <laughs> and good. Switch legs. Switch legs for me and start. So, this move here is going to work your hips, your hamstrings, your glutes. If, for any reason, this is not challenging enough for you, Always feel free to add weight to any exercise. You can hold the weight above your head. 
and get a nice little core workout as well. But this should be pretty tough. If it's not, as I said before, give me a call and we'll talk about it. <laughs> You've got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Back up, my friends. We've got jump squats to finish. Remember option one, option two on the toes, option three. Hop it out and go. You pick your option. If you get tired, you change your option. Nice and light feet, nice and light. Keep it up. Good, get those glutes down. Want to get nice and low and explode up. Good. Whew. Looking good, Lindsay. Keep it up. Whew. And good. You made it through circuit. One, yeah. completely this time. So we grab a little water, take a break. So these muscles back here are wonderful, wonderful component to any workout. Largest muscle group in our body, killing those calories, melting the fat. So, that's what we're here for today. Looks like she's already ready, so enough of my talking. We've got circuit two, 30 seconds each. This time, we're going to challenge your core. Forearm plank with a leg tap. We're right here. Oop. And we're down in three, two, go. You want to make sure your butt's nice and tucked. Your core is tight. Good. Feel free to speed them up if you've got that form. You're doing great. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Down here, we're going to be extra strong. We've got Supermans. So, Lindsay's going to demo our Superman. Arms are up, legs are up. Option one, going down and up there. Option two, a continual swim. And go. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Lift those glutes off the ceiling, or up to the ceiling, off the floor. I guess if you're on the ceiling, you might be Superman instead of, or you might be Spider-Man instead of Superman. Keep it up. This is a good sign. I can't talk if I'm working, right? Three, two, and one. Woo. Now, transition from Superman to Mario, my favorite. And my little boy, Ethan, my little nephew, this one's for you. So from the side, we've got a nice little lunge, and you're back up. Okay, option one, little tap. Option two, it's me, Mario. You're up here, hopping. I might be annoying the heck out of you right now, but we're going to work together. Ready? In three, two, and one. Bring that knee to that chest. Whew. All right, let's check that form. Keep going. You look like a sprinter over here, ready for action. It's always easy when you have a good student. All right, well, I guess I might as well join her. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Right away, other side. You ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, and go. She's using those arms. Get nice and high. Woo! My quads. These things right here. Woo! This is burning off my morning oatmeal. For four, three, two, and one. Woo! All over again. You ready? Yep. Are you ready? 
I think they said yeah. So let's do it. Right here in your plank. And go. Tapping it out. Good. Taking a moment here to talk form. We're going to push through those shoulder blades nice and strong. Push through. Tighten that stomach. And make sure those hips stay where they are. Don't want to see you doing any of this. No hula hips. <laughs> Another option to come up to your arms for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, stay where you are. It's time to be Superman. Remember? Glutes to the ceiling in three, two, and one. Or swim with me. Do some laps. So the closest you'll see me to water, though it is a great workout. Keep it up. Keep those hips high. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Back to Mario. Whew. Now let's not throw this workout away on pizza and spaghetti, but in the honor of Mario, in three, two, and go. Ooh, I'm sweating. Me too. Whew. And if you're not, speed it up. Come on. Don't forget our modified option to just step it up or really fire those glutes and quads. Whew. Make sure that knee is directly behind the toe, right here. Whew. Three, oh, two, and one. Whew. Shake them out and switch in three, in two, and one. Whew. Come on. Like I said, not hard enough, you pick it up. Too hard, slow it down. You're doing great, Lindsay. Keep it up. She's not going to be my friend after this. Whew. Keep in mind, we've only got one more circuit after this. Come on. Last three. Two and one. Woo! So good. All right. Circuit two. Complete. Woo! Take a water break. Do what you need. Keep moving. Woo! Are we ready? Yep. Remember, pause button, but don't stop. <laughs> pause and stop, two different buttons. Make sure we find them. <sighs> We've got toe taps here. Designed to bring the heart rate down. Let's we'll still work on those legs. You're going to go to the side and to the back. There is a slight bend in that standing leg, but our chest is high. Now speed them up. Side and back. Let's go. Come on. If you don't need to touch the ground, that's cool too. Woo! Dang. All right. Keep it up. Get a little lower. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you're going to hold it. Option one, your foot's back on the ground. Option two, you're up and you're going to pulse. Chest high for five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Woo! Other side. Let's do this. And down and go. Chest high. Speed them up. Hands are wherever you want. Take out that tap if you can. 
squeeze the glutes, really focus and good. Now you're going to hold that leg, just needed a break, and pulse. Woo! For five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Make sure you're squeezing those glutes, okay? Next, walking squats or froggy hops. Sound totally different, but they both work the same muscle groups. Option one is our walking, going forward and back, staying low, forward and back. Our advanced option, forward and back, forward and back. 30 seconds of this, you ready? Yep. Let's go. Whew. So Lindsay's got the advanced, I'm going to walk it out. As long as you're staying low, I'm happy. As long as you're glowing glutes, I'm happy. You're going to love me after the next 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Now hold it. Nice and low. Come on, chest is high. You're holding this little puppy for 30 seconds. Woo. Oh, mama. Chest is high. Come on. Chest is high. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! We're going out and again. We love our high fives here at Glowing Fit all over again. Okay? So, you've got this. You know the moves. Push. Okay? We've got one more time through this. And then, dun, 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 the finisher. Okay? So, we've got our toe taps. You're right here. Knees bent. You're going to the side and back and go. Feel free to take the tap out. But if you're struggling with balance like I am today, keep it in. Come on. For five. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Hold it. And five, four. Just as high. Three, two, and one. Woo hoo! Other side. Let's do this. And go. Remember, breaks when you need it. Keep breathing. Come on, speed them up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Woo! See that fatigue? For five, four, three, two, and one. Walking squats or froggy hops. In three, two, let's go. Now I can't let Lindsay have all the fun. So I'm going to move to our froggy hops. Can't have her showing up in my glutes. No, she's great. And so are you for three, two, and hold. You break when you need it. All right, get down there. Get nice and low. So good. Watch those knees. They're behind the toes. Right there. Chest is high. Woo! For ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. So, if you're done, 
Finito. Complete. You can stop right there. You can move to our stretch portion of the video series. Take some time. Celebrate your accomplishments. But once again, if you've got a little more left in you, we have the finisher. All right? So this is going to burn. It's not going to be pretty. And that's okay. Because if you want to glow, we got to work. So, finisher. Did you get some water? Uh -huh. Good. Hope you did too. Because we're about to go. We're going to pulse in our lunges. So a nice static lunge with a pulse. We're going to go there for about 30 seconds each side. And then I'll throw in the fun. All right? Three, two, go. Knees behind the toes. This seems like a walk in the park until you feel it. And if you already do, well, good, I'm doing my job. Keep it up. Come on. You look too happy for this workout. <laughs> Three, two, and up. Very good. Switching sides. In three, two, and go. Whew. Whoa, balance. We must work on all of our, all the things we need. Good thing I got that balance and stability workout to do. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So, fairly good there. Now, we take it to the next level. Option one, you're alternating. Nice and quick. Option two, you're hopping with me. 30 seconds. Let's go. Come on, squeeze the glutes. Woo. I'm starting to slow down. Come on, work with me. For a five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. The final work we have to do today is right down here. I call these butt busters because once again my butt used to indent so near and dear to my heart is this move. Optional weight behind the legs. We're going to come up and to the side. Up and to the side. Opening up those hips and go. Really squeeze those glutes. Squeeze. One more here. Good. Now you're going to pulse one, two, three back down. One, two, three, back down. Woo! Got me breathing. I barely had to stop because Lindsay's got killer form. <laughs> Last one. Now hold it up and pulse. Pulse. Woo! I'm sweating. Are you? Oh, yeah. Good. Come on. Keep it up. A little shake should happen. Come on. Five. Four. <laughs> three. Two. Hold it for five. Four. I know. Three. Two. And down. Woo! Other side. Switch it up. Wipe the sweat off your face. 
Or if it's on the ground, just clean it up later. All right, here we go. Other side, and up, and to the side. Up, to the side. If your wrists are bothering you, take a minute and go down to the ground on your forearms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're going to pulse up for three, back down. You doing okay back there? Yep. <laughs> now pulse. Woo! Don't give up. And hold it for five. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! So you made it through our Glowing for Glutes workout in our Glowing Fit workout series. So proud of you, Lindsay, and so proud of you at home. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope to see you again and again and again. Don't forget to stretch out, drink water, and eat well. This workout is nothing without the rest. So give it a try. Thanks. Okay, welcome everyone to the Glowing Fit workout series. Today we're working on balance. Now this balance workout is meant to be, in a sense, kind of an active recovery day. We've been hitting it hard on the other days, giving your body some recovery time, but staying active at the same time. Today's workout is balance, something that a lot of us don't put a lot of, a lot of thought and time into. But if you think of a house, if you think of your body as a house, balance is kind of building that foundation and then once you get that foundation built you can add on top of it I'm here with grant grant's going to help us through these balance exercises now i'll admit balance not my strong point but i do it and since i've started doing it it's made a difference in my overall performance grant you ready for this okay first move is a balance reach so we're going to grab our dumbbell and we're going to set up right here now with all these balance exercises, you want your core tight. The tighter you keep your core, the easier it is going to be for you to stabilize. So what you're doing is you're setting this dumbbell about a foot in front of you, keeping your back straight. I actually like to put a hand behind my back, dropping down, and your leg is going to start twitching like crazy. Tap the dumbbell and then come back up. Try to stay on one foot the whole time if you can. If you can't, what you can do is kind of have this back foot close to the ground and just kind of leave it there. Don't be afraid to stumble on these and then come back up. Okay, we're going to go for one minute each side. I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to spot check the form. And here we go. Looks good. His back is straight. And I'm going to give you a little, a little side view here just so you can see what it looks like from this angle. So I'm dropping down. My left leg is twitching like crazy right now. And what you'll notice with these balance exercises is you'll have one side that's better than the other side. Typically, if you're right-handed, if you grew up playing any sports, Grant's an athlete, he knows all about that. When you throw, your left leg is your plant leg. Your left side of the core is typically stronger, more stable, and vice versa, of, of course, if you're right or if you're left-handed. Ten seconds left. In three, two, one. Switch legs, switch hands. This should be the interesting side, and here we go. 
I don't know if I really want to embarrass myself with this right leg. Dropping down. And this, this balance work, even though it is kind of a recovery workout, it will get you sweating. It will get you breathing a little bit. So you'll still walk away with the feeling like you've, like you've had an effective workout. And as you can see, we're falling all over the place. So don't be ashamed by any means. Okay, we have about 20 seconds left here. Don't give in, don't give in. Ten seconds. Keep it stable. So we got all these muscles that are sleeping in here. This is waking them up and time. Whew, okay, workout over. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, we have airplanes. What we're doing. You're getting on one leg again. Most of the workout is going to be on one leg here. So keeping your back straight, raising the leg, and then we're just going to do a nice static hold. Hold that position for 60 seconds. Clock is starting. Here we go. Left leg first. Make sure we don't bump heads here, huh? And then what you want to do, a more advanced version, is try to make your body into a tabletop, raising the back leg as high as you can. And what that does is it gets some glute activation going. <laughs> and it'll stretch that hamstring out, working on the flexibility. 25 seconds left, here we go. Oh, twitching, twitching. As you can see, Grant's going barefoot too. A lot of times, if you go barefoot, it's going to give you an advantage because you can really dig those toes into the ground. Here we go. Finish it strong. Keep breathing throughout. Three, two, one. Right to the other side. Nope. Oh, good old right side. And a lot of times those hips will want to kind of open up on you you want to keep them close. So an open hip, if I drop here, sometimes my hips will want to turn. So I want to square them off and hold the position. Okay. And why am I sweating already? <laughs> we're not pros, people. We're good athletes, so we both like the ball, but we're not, we're not professional gymnasts here. So this is... This is kind of out of our wheelhouse. Oh, 10 seconds. Let's get back into it. Mm. In three, two, one. Oh, yeah. All right. Two exercises coming up. These are our, this is the animal series of the workout here. We've got two animal movements that we're going to do. Don't be ashamed. This is a bear crawl first. Bear crawl, it's balanced, but it's a lot of core, a lot of shoulder and hip mobility. So you're going to drop down. Sometimes it can take a little bit to get the footwork down. You're going to go on your hands. Knees are off the ground. Left hand and right leg are coming forward. So this right knee and elbow are touching. And then vice versa three four and then you're gonna go four back one two three four much harder than it looks going for one minute three two one and here we go i'm just gonna spot check grant's form on this as you can see he's synchronized the arm and the leg are moving at the same time. The tendency that people have on these bear crawls is to let the arms get ahead of the leg just because it's, it requires much more core to synchronize the movement. And the lower you can stay to the ground, the harder this is going to be. And if you need to modify, just raise that body up a little bit. 
There we go. He's feeling core like crazy. Core city here. We have 10 seconds left, Grant. Three, two, one. Good job. That was impressive. Impressive. I'm, I'm guessing you don't do a lot of bear crawls uh, in your spare time. So that was, uh, yeah, that's nice. that was good for the first time. Crab walks now. We're flipping over. This one is great for the shoulder mobility. Okay, a lot of people, as they get older, their shoulders roll forward, start to lock up on them. This keeps them loose. The shoulder's a tricky joint, so you really want to pay attention to it. So, your hands can either be face forward, sideways, or back, whatever is most comfortable for you. And then you want to fight to get some height in your hips here, and then you're just walking forward. four to six steps forward and then you're just taking it back and you're really gonna feel that stretch and then you're gonna feel some glutes and hamstrings as you fight to keep your hips high one minute two one and go there it is now this one is a good indicator on what type of mobility you have through your hips if your hip flexors are tight it's going to be hard for you to raise those hips all the way up. And you'll feel that stretch along the front deltoid as you're walking forward and back. And you're in your own living room, so don't worry about people making fun of you. I do this in the gym in front of other people because I don't really care anymore. But... It's fun to act like animals sometimes. Looking good, Grant. We have 10 seconds left. Keep fighting. He's working hard here. I think harder than he thought he would be today. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. The next one, upper body gets a little bit of a break here. We're working on balance in this quad and at the same time we're adding some movement to the hip flexor and the hip abductor so you're gonna stand on one leg try to stay on this one leg the whole time you're raising up bring it back down back up to the side and then back down okay one minute simple enough right here we go And there are a lot of ways you can make this move more difficult. Um, you know, they're gym toys, a BOSU ball, some balance discs. Anything that can make you more unstable will make this more of a challenge for you. There we go. We're on the good side. And you'll feel a little bit of oblique as you raise that leg up too, a little bit of core. Just remembering to keep that core tight. Another reason we work on this balance stuff is because as we age, two of the first things to go are our balance and our flexibility. Our strength we can maintain for a long time, but the balance starts to go. 10 seconds left here, Grant. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, and let's get that other side. Raising up, good. Yeah, back to what I was saying, the balance starts to go. So if you can stay on top of this balance work, and it's, it's really a nonstop job, you know, work on it two to three times a week, work on it every day, it's something that you can put, you know, 10 to 15 minutes in per day, it'll pay dividends for you. But a lot of the injuries that we see are all balance related. You know, you know as, as we get older, you'll see people falling, injuring a hip part of that is from the impact of landing part of it is from just the hip not being stable enough to support you as you're walking or as you're going up upstairs or whatever you might be doing and we all want to be active for as long as we can 15 seconds here there we go right side always more fun
three, two, one, and time. Okay, last exercise before we go through it all one more time. This is just as much of a core, even an abdominal exercise, as it is a balanced one. You're taking a dumbbell any size you want. You're probably not going to need a really big one. A small one, I've got a five here, that's enough for me. So I'm taking the dumbbell, holding it off to my left. My right leg is kicked back. I'm bringing it across my body and twisting, and I'm holding here and then drop back down. So almost like a little Heisman Trophy looking move here, and then back down. So you're getting that rotational crunch, working the abs, working the obliques, and you're holding that balance there, okay? One minute, I'm gonna join you on this one, Grant. And here we go. Nice little pause, and keep it going, good. You may stumble. My balance actually feels pretty locked in right now. Must have been that basketball from earlier. <sighs> Breathe throughout. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale as you go up. Now, if we wanted to make this more of a core move, we'd go a little more rapid fire like you saw in our core city, but we're going balance, so we're just holding it. 15 seconds left. There we go. It's getting easier and easier. And right to the other side. Three, two, one. Here we go. There's that right side again. Oh, losing it a little bit. Good, nice rotation. There we go. And you'll start feeling the shoulders too, which is perfectly okay. Always good to keep them moving. And with a light weight, this is ideal for our off day. Nice hold. Give me a five second hold here. Hold that. And back down. And we'll keep it going. All right, finish it up. Five, four, three, two, one and we're good okay we're going to take a little bit of a water break we're just going to take a 30 second one if you need a longer one hit that pause button shouldn't need too long of a break for this balance workout though so try to keep it short grant we got water for you right over here a little hydration always a good thing And we're back into it. Now we're going to go through the whole series again, but we are going to make a couple modifications to some of these moves. So the balance reach, we have the dumbbell in front of us again, but instead of standing directly behind it, we're going to stand behind and then take a step to your right. So now you're going to get more of a cross body movement making the hips adapt, making the core adapt. A little more, a little more challenging than the first time. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Ready to do it? Okay. We'll get... And here we go. Cross the body. These are slow and controlled movements. Uh, oh. Feel that core burning already. Whoa, almost knocked my dumbbell over. And you will be surprised to see how these balance moves translate over into your regular strength training program. Honestly, it's not something that I was really into until a few years ago. 
And then I did did a little homework on the balance training. A friend of mine recommended it to me. And, you know, I picked up a couple dumbbells after I'd done it for three weeks, four weeks. And I was lifting 15 pounds more than I did before. So, and time. And let's switch that. Okay, right side, reaching with the left hand across the body, and here we go. So keep that in mind, you know, for all you bigger guys that might not, that might see balance as something that's not worth your time. Sure, it's not going to make the biceps pop directly, but like I said, it's building that foundation so we can make the rest of the house stronger, more stable. Okay. Core is tight. I'm going to keep my hand back here just to make sure my back doesn't bend because I can feel it starting to curve just a little bit here. Almost there. Three, two, one, and... Wow, made it through that one. Okay, the next one is one of my favorites. It's the airplane again, but it's a different take on it. So I'm going to look at you straight on here. I'm dropping down into the airplane just like last time. But now I'm turning that torso, twisting left hand down, and then whoop, checking back in, right hand. So that's one minute. I'm going to tell you this is an advanced move. If you can't do it, just stay in that regular airplane. If you want to add this challenge to it, let's get the twist in. Grant's going to twist it out. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, might be hard for me to talk during this one. It's going to require all of my concentration here. You guys at home are probably like Gary. Just pipe down for a minute here, I gotta focus. And it might, if you feel back, you're probably bending it. So if you need that little break, step out for just a second and then get right back into it. 20 seconds left here. Wow, I am struggling here. Like I said, a lot of those muscles that have been sleeping are working here. And time. Oh, other side. Let's do it. This should be interesting. Okay, left leg back. And let's twist it out. And what I like about this one, too, as your body turns, this right side is just a disaster for me. As your body turns... It stretches your hamstring in a different kind of way, pulling from different angles, as opposed to just the traditional straight down static hamstring stretch. So it's more of a three-dimensional stretch on the hammies there. All right, I'm going to get back into it here. go 15 seconds five four three two one wow done with that one okay wasting no time right into the bear crawls you know what to do grant 60 seconds and here we go His form is still good. You might hear these called alligator walks too. Alligator walks, bear crawls. All different names for the same kind of exercise. There we go. This one's a challenge. And you can add a little push-up element to it as well if you want. It's looking 
looking good. The core is feeling it at this point of the workout, though. This is where you really got to dig deep. And by now, you're probably saying, Gary, I thought this was the off day. You lied to me. Ten seconds. Here we go. Finish it off. Three, two, one. Flipping over right away into the crab walk. Three, two, one, and we're going. There we go. Good, taking it as far as your living room allows. And don't be afraid to, you know, with these DVDs, if you have a little laptop computer, take it to the take it to the gym with you. Hook up that laptop, set it up in your aerobic studio if you want a little more space. I do that. But more often than not, it's done in the living room. Here we go. 20 seconds left here, Grant. Get as much as we can. And let's go down to the end once more. Three, two, one, and... You feeling more shoulders, more core? Where are you feeling that? A lot of core. Core city. Okay. The single leg balance. We're going to add a little variation to it. So instead of just raising the leg forward and kicking it to the side, what we're going to do is raise up, and then you're going to rotate to the outside, and then rotate to the inside, and then come back down. Okay, so this is hip rotation. Ready, and go. I'm going to raise up. This is one of my favorites. And then back down, and then just lightly tap, or just hover. Raise up. Whoa. Raise up. Turn it. Now another variation of this, as Grant continues to do the normal way, is you can actually add a back lunge to it just to get a little more lower body. You go back lunge, raise up, open, back to the middle, and then right back down into that back lunge. So I'll do a few more of these here. Back up, over, and down. Let's see how that performs looking here, Grant. In three, two, one, and we're going right to the other side. Left side, on the right leg. Here we go. Twisting. And then back down. Good. Trying to hover. Keep that leg hovering. Your hip flexor is going to light up. But both sides of the hip are working here. Because this one hip is stabilizing as you add that movement element to the exercise. And at the same time, this hip flexor is lighting up. The hip abductor is lighting up as you externally rotate. We have about 20 seconds left here. Keeping the breathing normal. Oh. Three, two, one, and time. Last move, everybody. Dumbbell wood chopper with a twist. We're going to get both sides again. Let's pick up our fives. Once again, hand out to the left. We're twisting over. One minute. And here we go. A little pause. I think my core is starting to feel it by now. Shoot, if mine's starting to feel it, I wonder what Grant's feels like. There we go. Just visualize yourself winning that Heisman. There we go.
we go. Crunch that core right there. Adding the movement again to the balance. It's one thing to just stand on one foot. It's another thing to add these elements of movement. External weight, 15 seconds. There we go, let's hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna finish strong with the other side. Going in three, two, one, let's do it. There we go. Good, if you wanna make it harder, get an even bigger twist if you have the flexibility in your glutes and your back to allow you to do that. There we go. All right, we're finishing strong. Last 20 seconds. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Okay, now let's hold this last one 10 seconds. Hold it, keep it up, oh. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Nice work, my friend. That was glowing fit balance. Like any other workout, follow the cool down procedures We'll get some static stretching in, rehydrate, get a good meal in you, and keep glowing fit. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm Gary. And we are here together making up Glowing Fit. We're here to provide a fun yet challenging workout for those of you looking for workouts you can do just about anywhere. No matter your lifestyle or fitness level, we are challenging you to work with us to help you reach your goals. Remember that you determine exactly what effort you put in for the day, so please do your best to push yourself through these incredible workouts. And as always, take breaks whenever you need. Now let's get to it. We're going to start our warm-up here right now with some jumping jacks. One of my very favorites. I use it in every class. Make sure your arms are up nice and high, your legs are going nice and wide. Get that heart going. Widen those legs, Gary. Come on. All right. Good. Now we're going to take these and we're going to turn them into what we call seal jacks. Your arms are out wide and clapping in. You don't have to be synchronized with your partner if you don't want. Whew. Getting warm. Three, two, and one. Very good. Now, Right away into our jump rope. Option one, nice and easy. Option two, double leg. Gary's gonna keep it nice and easy for us. That's me. <laughs> All right, keep it up. For five, <laughs> four, three, two, and one, good. Whew. Now we're gonna do some lunges. Turn right away, lunge forward. Switching legs, and we're gonna lunge to the side. And back. Really important here, forward. Side. <laughs> and back. Good. Keep going. If your balance is off for the day, you might be a little wobbly. Really important to note, you want to keep those knees above the toes when you're doing your lunges. Last time. Keep going, Gary. So like I said, knees going to be behind the toes. So you got them right here in a nice line and back up. I don't want to see this. 
I don't want to see this. Lunging right here. Very good. And back. Gary's got two more lunges left. And then we're moving on to Frankenstein's. Very exciting one for us. In the spirit of Halloween, which is when we're filming this, your legs are going to come up. Squeeze in the core. Frankenstein. <laughs> I'm getting scared over here. If your hamstrings are tight, this might be a little tough. Whew. Speed him up. Frankenstein's getting excited. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Last one. Twist back lunge. Gary, do you want to show them what that is? Absolutely. Bringing your leg back. All right. So very similar to a lunge. But we're going to bring those legs back and back up. Back. Adding a twist in the upper body, helping to warm up that back. Last time, other side. And good. So, now you should be ready to work. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! Very excited about this cardio boxing workout we have today because it's pretty much where my roots came from. Teaching for me was kind of an accident when it started. I was in college and our instructor couldn't teach anymore and she asked me if I'd take it over. So little did we know it would lead me to my path of fitness and wanting to help others. So I'm really excited to work out with you today. I'm going to do my best to do the whole thing with you but make sure that you're continuing to keep going with me. Um, and we're going to start in just a few seconds. So we've got a few combos today, a couple intervals. And then, of course, we'll kind of alternate between kicking, punching, all of the regular boxing techniques. But make sure that you get a cardio workout at the same time. So if you're ready, I am. We're going to start here with our first combo. First, I always want you to come up here right in your boxer shuffle. This is where I want you to be. If at any time you feel like you cannot do what I'm doing, but you just want to keep moving, you're right here. So we're going to start that first combo in three, two, one. Very good. We've got our front kicks. Kicking forward, your heels are up. Your chest is high. And of course, as always, your arms are on guard. What that means, protecting the face, nice and high. We're alternating. Now, we're going to go just one leg at a time. Get that fatigue going right away. Whew. Heels up. Come on, nice and powerful. Folding out that leg and switch. Now, continue where you are. Notice when I'm kicking, I'm kind of folding my leg out. You want to make sure you're not going like this or like this, but a nice fold. Whew. And good. Now we've got side kicks. You're going to kick to the side. Same idea, alternating. 30 seconds. If your balance is off, you'll know it. Come on. Woo! My hips are tight. Woo! Come on. They don't have to be high. They don't have to be fast. You can slow it down or keep it up. For three, two, one. Very good. Next move. Jack and jab with me right here. Jack. Jab forward. Jack. Jab forward. Come on. Glutes to the front of the room. Now if you can hear me breathing, believe it or not, this girl has asthma. So, I took my inhaler, but just like those of you at home, taking breaks when we need to. In three, two, one. Woo! Next move. High knees. My all-time favorite, as you probably noticed from a variety of our videos. And we're up. Your knees are pointing nice and high. Looking to the side as high as we can go. Option. 
right here. You always have options. But otherwise, I want you right up top. For five. Speed it up. And good. Whew. Last little exercise in our series. A little more technique here. We've got our X punch. We're going to the corners and down. Corner, down. All right. In three, two, and one. Now, if these hands are just driving you crazy, take them out and go with a lunge. Otherwise, you're up and down. Come on, slow it down if you need, or keep it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Now, you're a pro. So, 45 seconds of each move, starting with our kicks. Remember your pause button if you need to. In three, two, and go. Whew. Got a break coming up pretty soon. Same leg. Come on. Woo. Go ahead and switch. Use that heel. Kick nice and high. Three, two, and good. Side kicks. Come on. Moving right away through these. You can slow it down. Remember, you've got your options. Keep it up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Jack and jab right away. Come on. Nice big jab. Straight forward. Quick hands. Whew. Big jack. Come on. And good. Woo! High knees. Let's go. Remember your option. Right here. Otherwise, we're up. Come on. One. X punch. Last time. Come on. Bringing that punch across the body. Come on. Four. Three, two, and one. Woo! March it out. So, we've got a little water break here. Just want to make sure we're always hydrating. Another point of interest, of course. Woo! This workout is great for burning fat, boosting your metabolism, sculpting those legs, 
sculpting those arms and getting whatever it is that you need out of a workout. Now we're going to play a little here. We've got our plank punch. Right now, our option one, you're on the knees, creating that angle between your knees and your shoulders. You're going to punch forward as much as you can. Option two, much more difficult, punching right here. Now I'm going to face you so I can watch. We're going to go for about 35 seconds to 40 seconds, depending on where we are. And you're up. Go. If you're up here, watch those hips. I don't want to see any of this going on. I want you right here. Come on. Nice and aligned. We can make the 40. Come on, let's go to the side with me. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. Woo! Now, my very favorite part of the whole workout is right here. It's our interval. They're different than our boxing intervals. In the way that we're going to do 15 seconds of each move, you're going to run through them real fast. And hopefully by the end of this workout DVD, you'll know them pretty well, so you can kind of just follow along with me. All right, our first move, single leg taps, either in your plank. Once again, if the plank's too hard, you're right down here, you're tapping in and out. 15 seconds each leg. Second option, right here. And third, adding a hop. All right, so 15 seconds of that move. We're going to go in three, two, and one. Woo! 10. Three, two, and down. Very good. Woo! On the other side. I'm going to go with the taps. So you remember, down here or back up. In three, two, and go. Whew. And down. Very good. Next move, tuck jumps or march. All right, if you're fried. March with me for 15 seconds. If you're good to go, we're going to come up and tuck up to our little hands in three, two, and one. Woo! Three, two, and one. Woo! So good. Back down, mountain climbers. Right here, option one, option two, for 15 seconds. In three, in two, and one. Three, two, and one. Woo! Now, tires. Difference between tires and mountain climbers. Woo! I'm a little tired. Side to side. Tires when we're tired. Let's go. You're good. Wow, that was really fun. So, if you're running out of time, stop there, move to our next combo. If you've got more, 
work with me through it one more time. And yes, we're going to do it together right here. And we're down for 15 seconds. And go. Oh, I'm going to take it up. Whew. Good. Switching sides. Come on with me. And go. Those wrists hurt. Stay where you are or take them down right here and give a little tap. Do what you need. Come on. And good. Woo. Tuck jumps or march. Ready and go. Keep going. I'm going to march with those of you taking our second option at home. No shame in taking the little break. And good. Whew. Last things, we've got mountain climbers and tires. Right back down here. Climb it out with me. In three, two, and go. Drive it. Come on. Woo! Are you having fun yet? Woo! I sure am finally warming up here. We've got tires. Come on. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Come on. Three, two, and one. So good. I want you to march it out here with me. If you need a break, take it. If you don't, you're crazy. Whew, my mat's kind of going crazy on me, so adjust as you need to. Whew. Next, we've got combo number two. 30 seconds of each move, then 45. We've got a hook and an elbow. So right here, arms are on guard, keeping in mind our poses are strong. Boxers are strong, and so are you. You're going to come down, hook, and elbow. Hook, and elbow. All right, you ready? In three, two, and one. Hook, elbow. Hook, elbow. Get nice and low. Ducking underneath their kick. Getting them with nice elbow. Come on. Whew. And good. Very good. Now we've got our touchdowns. My one of my very favorites. Touching down. If this is too much. Nice little punch to the side. And go. When you get ready, add a punch. Really get nice and low. Whew. Three, two, and one. Whew. Now, knees to the side. Really good one for the core, all kinds of fun. In three, two, go. Option one, nice and slow. Option two, add a little hop. Three, speed it up. Like you're chopping a board with that knee, come on. Keep it up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Switching sides. And we're up. Go. Whew. 
side note, don't eat a bunch of peanut butter before this exercise. Woo! You can feel my lunge. Come on. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Now another one of my favorites. This one's filled with my favorites. We've got a double punch and squat or double punch, heel click. All right? Woo! In three, two, and go. Punch, punch, click. Or punch, punch, squat. Punch, punch, squat. Come on. You pick. Keep your balance. Very good. Very, very good. So you made it through. Now, last one. We've got some crosses nice and out to the side. Nice and big for 30 seconds. In three, in two, and go. Really punch, punch, give a nice twist. Speed it up. Come on. Three, two, and one. Woo, you made it. So now we've got our 45 seconds. Really important here, you know the moves, so really kill them, all right? So we've got a nice hook and elbow. This time leading with this arm in three, two, and go. Hook, elbow. Come on. Hook, elbow. Get mad if you need to. Come on. Get lower, come on. Make this 45 worth it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, touchdowns, 45 seconds, let's go. Remember, having back troubles, whatever it is, try to stick to those legs. We're really working that low body helps us burn anything that we want. Boost that metabolism. Come on. Woo. We're only 25 seconds in. Come on. Don't give up. Ten seconds. Speed them up. And good. Very nice. Woo. Knees to the side. 45 seconds. Let's go. And come on. Woo. I'm sweating. I hope you are. Come on. Woo! Mr. Balance. Gotta find him. Come on. Woo! In five. Three, two, and one. Woo! Shake him out. Other side. Wipe the sweat. Get excited and go. Whew. Whew. Come on, 
You can do it. Don't give up. We're almost done with this combo. Earn your breaks. Come on. I'll give it to you in three, two, and one. Whew, those felt like forever. Now, double squat punch. Come on. Or, wherever you're at today. Come on, nice and low. Breathing out. Speed him up. Woo. Oh man, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Last part, crosses, come on. Get nice and low. Are you glowing? I forgot to ask. I know I am. Come on. Big punches, big punches. Feel free to slow it down. Whatever keeps you going for that 45 seconds. Five, speed it up, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Awesome job. So we've got a little standing ab crunch. Woo. Bring that heart rate down. Man, this is fun, I think. Hope you do too. Feel free to get lower. A nice crunch for five more seconds. Good. Arms up. You're going to crunch to the side. Really important that we keep our core strong. With that being said, if you haven't tried our core workout, give it a try. It's definitely fun. Definitely tough. Whew. Really squeeze that core in. Tight. Suck in the stomach and breathe. Whew. Whew. Now that we're just getting cooled down and we're up. So now, interval number two. All right? Take your water again. Remember your friend the pause button, but not the stop button. Unless we need to go. Whew. We've got two options here. 15 seconds of our intervals. Keep that in mind. So, where I want you to work up to, if your knees are healthy, if your hips are healthy, if you're feeling good, your back's good, we've got our side-to-side -side squat. So you come down here and jump. And jump. 15 seconds of that. Or, give me a nice little hustle to one side, hustle to the other. All right. In three, in two, let's go. Whew, 15 seconds of the most fun you've ever had in your whole life. Whew, get nice and high. And good. Whew. Next, speed skater side to side. Option one, option two. Speed it up. Let's go. 15. Good. And good. Now, high knees. Once again, my favorite. Ooh. Ooh. And last time, push up hold. 
All right, either down here on your knees, holding it out, Woo. or up top, nice and high. Hold it down for 15, let's go. Come on. Keep breathing. Woo. And up. Woo. Nice how when you slow down that, the working effort, you get a nice little sweat going. I always notice it. So if you're good one time through, that's cool. Two times, you're a star with me. Side to side squat in three, two, and go. Woo. Woo. Come on. Speed skater right away. Come on. Push. Whew. And push up, hold. Right here with me. And go. Come on. Whew. Are we done yet? Oh my gosh. And up. Whew, that was so much fun. All right, so you've got one more inter interval. Final combo, 45 seconds of each move, then we're done. Don't forget to cool down and take a break and remember why you did this. All right, that was my break. So take some water when you need to. Our first move is the attack. You're up here. You're gonna punch two times to the front and switch and switch. Come on. Whew. This is getting a little boring for you. Take it to singles. One, two, one. Two, or keep that double. Woo. Push it out. Come on. For five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Double squat, hop. Oh, this is a treat for those of you in my classes. This is when they start hating me. So, we're gonna squat twice to the side, twice to the middle, and twice to the other side. Feel free to modify. This is your option. If you're modifying, that's okay with me. In three, in two, let's go. Glutes back, come on. Whew. Four to five seconds is a long time, but you can do anything for 45 seconds. Woo. Come on. Holy moly. Keep smiling. Remember that modified option? Ooh, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, man. Nice little move here to help you. Give those legs a little rest. Uppercuts. You're going up and up each side. Nice little cut up in three, two, whew, and one. Crunch those abs on your way up. Whew. 
if you want more, speed it up. Come on, nice and big. You can do it. Whew. Come on. For three, two, and one. Whew. Now, you're going to go down, come up, and kick. Option one, nice little tap and kick. Nice little tap and kick. Option two, which is harder, down and kick. Down and kick. Full range of motion. All right, you're with me in three, two, and go. Woo, find your balance. We're all human, right? Woo, come on, oh man, getting tired. Breaks when you need it. Oh, oh man, seriously, this is it. Push yourself. Oh. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, man. That is tough. All right. This is your last part. The last leg, literally, of this whole workout is right here. You're going down. In three, two, and one. Whew. Oh man, balance is already given out. Whew. You guys are making me nervous watching me out there. That's why I'm falling over. Whew. Feel free to slow it down. Find your balance. That's where I'm struggling. Whew. Think we got it. Come on. Don't give up. Three. Oh, man. Two. And one. Whew. You got me there on the last one. So I hope I got you too. Definitely a fun workout. So many fun things you can do with kickboxing. I hope you enjoyed your time. Drink water, eat well, and focus. This is for you, and we hope you're glowing fit. Thank you. Welcome everyone to the Glowing Fit Workout Series. Today we're doing a plyo blast. Plyo this is Lauren. I'm Lauren. As you already know. Yep. Plyometric training traditionally was developed for athletes to develop that powerful, explosive, jumping type movements, quick, agile, but we've, nah, let me start over. Welcome everyone to the Glowing Fit Workout Series. Today we are doing our Plyo Blast workout. I'm here with Lauren. Hello. Lauren's going to help us through the exercises because she's got the legs for it. Plyometric training originally developed for athletes to help with their power and explosion, but we found that it's a great workout to develop the legs, to get the heart rate up, and to just give you the results that you're looking for. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's jump into this plyo blast workout. We're going to start circuit one, each exercise, 30 seconds each, starting with jump squats. Now, what we're going to do, the first time through, we're doing a slow and controlled movement. And what this is, is kind of a continuation of the warm up. So, She's going to jump. First one is jump squat. So you're getting down low. Jump, get some height. And then what you want to do, Lauren, we want to get that landing slow and controlled. Okay. Slow and controlled helps you build that foundation, builds up that stability. And then the second time through, we're going to fly through it a little bit quicker. All right. 30 seconds ready. Are you guys ready? ready? We are going in three, two, one. Here we go. Jump squat, slow and controlled. Now what Lauren wants to do when she jumps, she's going to drop her hips back, keep
keep her chest tall, making sure the knees do not go over the toes. Nice, nice controlled landings. Looks good. We have about five seconds left. Three, two, one, and great job. Number two, not wasting any time going into skaters. What you're going to do is start on one leg, jump to the side, control that landing, and jump back. A modification of this, if you have knee issues, what you can do, you can take that back leg and just tap it down here. So for the controlled version, we're holding the landing, holding the landing, 30 seconds, going in three, two, one, and here we go. I'm gonna do these with Lauren. I like to skate. And to make this more challenging, get lower, drop the hips down, which can be tough if your hips are tight. Really, that's most of us, isn't it? 10 seconds. There we go, control it. In two, one, and time. Oh, I'm tired already, are we done yet? No, no not yet, not yet. Maybe you are. Frog jumps, speaking of tight hips, frog jumps, a great way to loosen up those hips. Wide feet, frogs, what do they do? They jump like this, okay? So, it's a jump squat, but you're getting deeper and you're opening up the hips more. And remember, controlling that landing so you're up here, control it, and then explode back up. Control, 30 seconds. All right. Three, two, one, here we go. Now a modification for this, as I turn to the side, is just gonna be squatting, getting down low. If you don't have the hip mobility to get all the way down, just go as low as you can. But then, if you want to avoid the impact, just kind of get up on your toes and then come down. On the toes, come down. Keeping the chest tall. Three, two, one, and time. Okay. Three exercises. Going through it one more time. Jump squats, this time full speed. So Lauren's jumping up quick. Landing quick, not really trying to control the landing as much. 30 seconds, two, one, here we go. There we go, up and down, there it is. And once again, modification for this, just that squat, or you can get up onto the toes, or just a little baby hop. A little baby hop, that's where I'll stay. There we go. Woo. Quads are burning here. Here we go, five seconds, three, two, one, and time. So circuit number one is over, we're taking a little 30 second recovery. If you need longer, you have that, pop, that pause button to push. And of course, if you're a beginner, maybe you can only do one circuit, that's fine. Try to push yourself, try to stay with us, okay? Lauren, are you good? Water, water, hydration? All right, let's do it. Skaters, here we go. All right. There it is, explosive. There we go. There we go, pick up that speed. Three, two, one. Right into frog jumps. And here we go. 30 seconds. There we go. Got a little bit longer distance to the ground. Lauren's a little jib. She can just get up and down. Five, four, Three, two, one, and take your break. Those hips. All right. Okay, we're in our water break. We made it through circuit one. Lauren's taking in some water. 
Ready for circuit two, everyone? Ready. Okay, we're going to start off with some high knees. Same thing as circuit one. Slow and controlled movements, particularly the landings. High knees are going to be like this. So you're here. Hold it, a little balance. Hold it. Get a little hop. Modification is just going to be this and then this. 30 seconds. You ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. Slow and control. Control that landing. Control that landing. There we go. There we go. Get the balance in. In plyometrics, particularly if you're an athlete, if you can learn to control these landings, it'll actually increase the potential of whatever you're trying to do. If you're trying to jump higher, run faster, the muscles will be able to handle a greater load and time. Okay, tuck jumps, second exercise. You'll see some of these exercises sprinkled through the other, the other workouts in the Glowing Fit series. Tuck jumps, Lauren, let's see it. Ooh, my favorite. Jumping up, bringing the knees right. to the hands. And once again, we're getting that controlled landing. Stick it and then go back up. Here we go. Ready and go. There it is. Now with plyometrics, you want to make your landings as quiet as possible. There we go. Why is that? The louder the landing, the more impact it is on the joints. Quieter landing goes to the muscles, keeps the stress off the knees, keeps it off the hips, and time. Number three, jumping lunges, lunge jumps, many names for this. So what you're doing is you're starting down, and this is a balance move. You're jumping up, you're switching the legs, keeping your torso tall, right here. We're going with a slow and controlled landing. Same thing. Ready for it? Three, two, one, and here we go. There we go, stick that landing. Modification, you're just getting that little back lunge and switch it, and switch it. As you can see, we have that straight line from the knees down to the feet. The knee is not extending past the front of her toe. Her torso is upright, which allows her to get that deeper stretch in the hip flexor. Here we go, finish strong, keep the core tight. Three, two, one and time. Okay, made it through the first round of it. Second round, quicker, more explosive. Ready? High knees. Two, one, and go. <coughs> oh, get those knees high. There we go. Remember, modification, just going quick knees, pump those arms with it. There we go. The idea with plyometrics, spending minimal time on the ground. So after we do that first round of control and balance, the second round, you're trying to stay airborne as much as you can and time. Okay, tuck jumps, the killer. Ready to do it? Oh yeah. You don't need a second to breathe. She doesn't need a second to breathe. Nothing. Two, one, and here we go. So with these, you can do the same thing. You can get a little high knee action for a modification. You can just squat it out if you need to. Whatever you need to do just to find a filler for these workouts, perfectly okay. Five, four, three, get those knees up, two, one, and time. Grab a couple oxygen cells out of the air. Inhale them. There we go. Right. Lunge jumps. 30 seconds. Getting airborne on these. Three, two, one, and here we go. There it is. Minimal time on the ground. Flying up and down. Getting that deep stretch. A modification. I'm going to have you show us a modification to make it harder. Arms straight up in the air now. And when you put your arms overhead, 
That brings core into play. If you have a couple dumbbells sitting around, add those dumbbells to the mix. Here we go, five seconds. Finish strong. Three, two, one. Circuit two is over. Yes. We only have two more to go. Take that water break. As Lauren likes to say, you earned it. You earned it, so take it. Might as well. Halfway there. Heart rate should be high. If you're good on water, just keep the movement going. You can get some leg kicks in. Just some little active quad stretch, twisting. Whatever you have to do to bring the heart rate down, but to stay loose. You don't want to completely stop after you're doing these exercises. Okay, All right. circuit number three. Scissors jump. More of a foot speed movement, okay? Bringing the hips into play, hip flexors in particular. So what you're doing, you have your left leg in front, or your right leg in front, your left leg in back, or vice versa, and then you're just jumping and switching. Hold it, hold it. Get the arms going with it too. Hold it, right. hold it. Try to land on your toes, 30 seconds. Three, two, one. And here we go. Hold that landing. Hold it good. And like any move, you want to keep your core tight. Just to make sure you're not wobbling all over like I just did right there. No one saw it though. It's okay. Except for all of them. Ten Andy. seconds. Andy. You didn't see anything. Now I'm focused. And three. Two, one, time. Exercise number two is a two-parter, okay? We have side hops, single leg. Now, some of you might not be able to handle this one. Not yet. If not, I'll show you the modification. Not yet, exactly. Not yet. It'll come. So you're going to get on one leg. So we're balancing already. You have an imaginary line. If it helps you, you can set a towel down, set a sock down, preferably clean. Jumping over, hold the landing, hold the landing, okay? After Lauren gets started, I'll show you the modification. Three, two, one, here we go. So she's on her right leg, controlling that landing. Now the modification of this is going to involve two feet. So you're just going to be here and here. Or you can even tap both feet down and both feet. Okay? So similar to the skater, but try to keep the leg on that one side. As we finish up the last five seconds, I'm going to go back to the one leg and time. Other leg right away. Fine. Two, one, here we go. So this is a calf builder. So for you athletes out there, this one is going to be very beneficial for that lateral movement, for those quick jumps. Was that a, was that a 180? Oh. <laughs> now I'm just showing off. She's, she's improving, folks. That was not scripted. Whatever you need to do to make it fun, right? Exactly. Woo! Okay, in three, two, one, and time. Next one, we have split jumps getting deep into a squat on this, a nice wide squat. So you're starting tall, and then you're dropping down, hold it, and then hold up top. Hold it, and then up top, okay? 30 seconds, two, one, and go. So this is gonna be a lot of hip, adductor, inner thigh, and of course, like any plyometric workout, the calves are working like crazy. Glutes, core is strong and firing to keep you balanced, to keep you powerful. Five seconds, two, one, and time. Scissors jump. Now we're going full speed. Okay? Great. Let's get after it. Three, two, one, here we go. Pick that line. Modification.
jump forward, jump back, forward, back, forward, back. Lauren's just in a zone right now. I don't even know if she knows where she is, but her legs are going two, one, time. Side hops. Now we're hopping over that line. Hot feet. 30 seconds, two, one, and go. Here we go. Stepping in lava. Can't stay in that lava for too long. You burn your little toes. I like to get a little arm action in here as I do this. Makes me feel like I'm at a hoedown. <laughs> hey, little doggy, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. And let's get the other side. Good thing you're funny. <laughs> some, some might say that. Two, oh, yeah. one, here we go. There it is. Lauren's more of a rapper. I'm the, I'm the redneck here of the group. Check the special features for some of her freestyle. And time. A lot of woos will be in there. A lot of woos. A lot of woos. Split jumps now. Minimal time on the ground, minimal time up top. Three, two, one, here we go. Here, right back down, right back down, here we go. One of my favorites here. If you're an athlete, if you're a basketball player, you gotta get down in that defensive position, sink those hips, get those hands out. Little bonus move. Lauren's gonna go turbo speed here as I modify, come out wide, come up. Three, two, one. And we made it through circuit three. And we made it. Oh. Oh, but wait, we have one more. Oh. We're not done yet. Take a water break. Sorry. Catch your breath. Stay active at home. Pause button. Only if you need it. How do you know if you need it? Maybe a little lightheadedness. Maybe a little cramping. But if you're just sweating, you can keep going. You be the judge of that, folks. Circuit number four, starting with what I like to call a single leg stretch jump. So it starts kind of like a single leg deadlift. You're dropping down, touch the ground, get the back leg high, and then from this position, jumping up and then soft landing. Okay? Yeah, crazy, huh? Here we go, 30 seconds. And we're going. There we go. Good. Drive that knee up as you jump too. If you need to tap down with the other foot, and like any any kind of balance move, you know, don't feel like you have to stay on that one leg. I'd rather see you tap down with the other foot than fight to stay on the one leg and fall on your face. It's not the objective of the glowing fit workout series. Okay, five seconds, two, one, and let's switch sides. All right, so if you're right-handed, the left leg's probably gonna be a little bit easier for you, as that is your plant leg for most everyday situations. Because it's your plant leg, your core is generally stronger and more stable here. It's our plant leg, does it grow food? Oh, zinger. <laughs> We're here all day, folks. <laughs> In three, two, one, and time. Okay, we have now the crouching squat jump. Or the crouching tiger, but you know. If, if it helps to think of yourself as a tiger, then go right ahead, but I'm going to call it the, the crouching squat jump. So I'm going to turn sideways here so you can see what I'm doing. You're staying down in this squatted position. 
you're jumping forward and then you're jumping back. Now what you're not doing is you're not getting full extension on the jump. You want to stay low to the ground, almost like a pulse type move, like a lunging pulse. So this is 30 seconds. Control those landings. Three, two, one. Here we go. Staying nice and low. As always, keeping those landings soft and quiet. Soft and quiet. As my legs are burning. And they feel like they're on fire. But it is doing good things to my body. I am burning calories. And developing the booty. And time. Okay, and now we'll throw back to old high school football practice, doing some quick feet here, okay? This one, we're not going to have that slow and controlled stage one of it. We're just going to go right into the quick feet, getting the hands going. You're right here. Quick feet as quick as you can. 30 seconds, two, one, let's do it. There we go. Jiggling. I feel like I'm in a music video. Turn to the side. Let the people see it. Oh, your, your feet are quicker than mine. I can't let them see that. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Do we really have to do that one more time? Yeah, we do. One more. I want to do it again. Single leg stretch jump. Let's move through this a little bit quicker, unless you feel unstable, in which case, keep it slow and controlled. Okay, we're starting. You're on the right leg, I'm on the left. Here we go, 30 seconds. Let's do it. Drop down, hop up, and hop up. Woo. Whoa. Here we go. Oh. Good, keep controlling that landing though. Just try to move through it a little bit quicker. Now if that hamstring's tight, remember, just kind of drop down here. You could even plant the back leg and then jump up. Three, two, one. And time. Other side. Here we go. And we're going. Huh. Huh. Feel free to make sound effects. I get made fun of all the time for it, but it helps me. At least I think it does. I don't know. You look like it does. I don't know. Oh, this right leg is something else for me. Not the most stable, but that's why I'm working on it. Three, two, one. And time. Crouching tiger, crouching squat jump. Here we go. Get down low. Two, one, here it is. Get down low. There we go. Okay. What was that? Get down glow. Get down glow. Are you glowing? Glowing fit. I look like I'm glowing with this sweat that's dripping off my face. Oh, you are. You can't see it, but you are. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. <sighs> Folks, we're almost done. We have quick feet. I know you're tired. I'm not even going to try that. I'm going to try my best, all right? I'm not going to try to beat her because I can't hang on that level. But I can do better than I did last time. We're going 30 seconds. Make a count. Finish strong. Show your speed on this. Three, two, one. Here we go. Pick it up. There it is. You can also add a little hip turn to it. A little hip turn. Here we go. Feels like we're tap dancing. Get some jazz hands. Jazz hands. Come on, finish strong. Five, four, three, two, 
One. Oh. Plyo Blast, people. How are you feeling? I'm great. My legs are blasted. My legs are crushed. Hard work. Get your, get your hydration. Get that nice post-workout meal in. Follow the cool-down procedure, and we will blast those legs again another day. Okay, we have just finished our amazing workout. We're glowing fit. We're feeling strong. But if we want to recover, if we want to prevent as much soreness as possible, we want to get that cool down in. So we're going to start off just taking you through a nice, easy cool down series here. Just a little jogging. Just jogging on our feet here. Staying moving, but we're not pushing it too hard. There we go. Don't go crazy with those knees. No need to high knee them. We're kicking now. Kick it out. Now what you want to do is prevent what's called blood pooling. You want to prevent cramping all things that can happen if you just finish your intense workout and then stop. Okay? You gotta bring the body back down to that state of rest. Now this kicking is kind of like an active hamstring stretch. Now from here, taking both feet wide, squaring the toes, pointing them forward, you're bending at the waist Dropping down and just relaxing right here. You're going to feel that through the hamstrings, through the lower back. You can either place your hands on the ground, place them on your knees if you can't get to the ground, or rest your hands here. Feel free to rock back and forth slightly. Sometimes I like to walk my hands over to the right and then bring them to the left. Hold that a little bit longer. And slowly come up. Okay, now we're going to do what's called a sprinter stretch. So I'm going to turn sideways. I'm getting in this push-up position. I'm going to take my right leg, and I'm going to drive it forward and hold it right here. And I'm going to take this leg and externally rotate that hip. Let me show you from the front what this looks like. So I'm here driving this hand forward and then rotate that hip in and out. There we go. This is getting deep into the hamstring, stretching out the hip flexor on the opposite side. And let's switch feet and shoot the left one forward. If you want to get more advanced, let me just back up here. You can actually drop both hands down to the ground. As you can tell, I like the flexibility for that. At least on the left side I do. Rotate that hip. Okay. Now one more point of emphasis on this. You want to drive the foot forward so you have this nice straight line from knee to foot. You don't want to be back here like this. Okay. That's going to take the stretch away from the hamstring. Okay, now let's come out of that. What we're doing is we're putting our right knee on the ground. Left leg is forward. Reach the right hand up high and then drive your hips forward. And at the same time, you're going to lean to your left. Stretch that. Let me give you the side view. So we're reaching out, get, get some height. Drive the hips forward, lean over this way, and hold that. That's going to get right into not only the hip flexor, but your lats, your abdomen, all good things. Want to lengthen everything after the workout. Let's switch sides. Right leg is forward, left hand is high. Lean forward, lean to your right. 
with all of these stretches, we want to breathe through them, which can be hard as we're stretching a muscle. You know, the tendency is to hold your breath as things start to get difficult, breathe through it. That's going to allow you to sit down into that stretch a little bit further. And you want to take it to a level where it's, you feel the stretch, but you're not too uncomfortable. Okay. Now drop down. We're going to do a glute stretch. So you're going to lay on your back, right leg over the left. Now you have this little hole right here. Reach through. Advanced version is to grab the shin and pull back. Okay, if you can't get that far, you can grab the hamstring and pull back. Okay, I'm going to pull the shin, put my head down, and enjoy this one. Especially with all the lower body the work that we do in the Glowing Fitness workout series. And now you're going to drop down. Switch sides. Left side is tighter for me. The left side is more stable, but the left side is also tighter for me. And that tends to be how the body works. Pulling back, breathing through the stretch, enjoying some of this downtime here. And come on out of this. Now we're getting into a child's pose. So, knees are out wide. You're sitting down on your feet, reaching forward with those hands, at the same time keeping your hips back on your feet, pushing down, chest towards the ground, pushing through those shoulder blades. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn forward so you can see the form we're here, drop down, you're reaching forward, feel it through the lower back, and now we're going to put some emphasis into the lats, so you're going to take both hands, reach to your left, put your right hand on top of your left hand, drop down and hold, breathe through it. And now, both hands to the right, right hand down first, left hand on top, feel it through the lat, through the side, keep holding, keep breathing. And rock your body forward, come on out of that, slowly stand up. If you feel tight anywhere, if you feel the need to stretch, go through that series again. Hold those stretches a little bit longer. If you need to, keep glowing fit, keep working hard, and we will see you next time.